Hi, my name is Joyce Joseph, and I'm a senior financial consultant with Western Computers, and I'm also a CPA. I've been working in the AX space for the last 10 years, and I've been involved in over 15 implementations. Today, what I want to do is share with you how you can correct an accounts receivable payment that was applied to the wrong invoice. So in this example, I've gone into my customer. I'm going to focus on this payment here, ARPM, that ends in 15. The payment was made, although it says February 2014, don't worry about the dates. Then the amount of the payment was $74,746.88. So the problem is, as we can see, the outstanding balance is zero, and it has paid an invoice incorrectly. I will be able to show you in just a minute that the invoice it paid here was this invoice, number 17. And in order to correct this, we have to basically unlink these two documents. So the first step is find your payment. So we found our payment. I'm going to highlight that payment. I'm going up to settlement here in order to prove what I just said, that the settlement history will show me that that payment was applied to the customer invoice number that is CIV, ends in 17, or our internal invoice number, IMV, that ends in 16, for the amount, again, 74746 So they are linked. And so our first step is we need to unlink them. So going back up to settlement here, you will see the option called undo settlement. So once you select that, what the system will do is pull up all the various invoices that are connected to a payment. In this example, yes, there's only one invoice, but if a payment was applied to multiple invoices, all those invoices would be listed here for you to select if you want to disassociate them. So one thing I want to show is once I click on this payment, the other items that it's connected with will automatically get selected. So I'm clicking mark and then I did not have to click the second one. The system knows that those are connected. So you can see again that the payment is attached to that invoice that ends in CIV, that ends in 17, or the internal number, our voucher, IMV, that ends in 16. All right, so the system knows that these two, as I said, are connected. So what you want to do is actually reverse this. So at the bottom here, you will find the opportunity to click the reverse button, and it's done. You're finished. You can carry on and go on to whatever your next task is for the day. But let me prove to you the reverse has actually happened. So again, looking at the payment line here, 15, you'll notice that the balance is now negative 74,746.88. That means you have unapplied cash, where if the problem was it should have been applied to some other invoices that you have open down here later on, then that's what you can do. Also, you'll notice that the invoice that was originally paid it is now back in an open balance amount. So that's how quickly and easily you can basically unlink payments that were made. So thank you and have a good day.